What do you think? Busco is losing his mind. <sighs> is excited. You like the snow rooks? Yeah. Get your tail. We finished out our time at the Airbnb in East Carbon, Utah, enjoying the amazing snow playing, having fun, and enjoying the amenities of being somewhere stationary. <laughs> Just a few miles down the road from this tiny little town nestled against the mountains were some old buildings and ruins that we got to have fun exploring. This thing looks like it's been here for a while. You want to go for a ride, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> kind of hard to get up to with one hand holding the camera. <laughs> We're walking towards some really cool historic ovens. You can see all those dome shapes in the background. What's in there, Rooks? So I just walked around the corner and saw that there's a whole other row of ovens and I already thought there were so many. And they appear to be double-sided. So there's, on each row, there's ovens on both sides. Pretty amazing. Being here just gets me thinking about the people who lived here, what community they built, how long it took them to build these ovens, how they knew how to build them, did they design them, what type of food did they make in them, and how many people lived here. There are so many ovens. There's, I don't know, I should walk down and count and then times it by four. There are so many, it's so cool. The other interesting thing I'm thinking about is the fact that it is really cold winters here, so whoever lived here and made those ovens lived through some really rough winters oh, and some hot summers. I think it gets really hot here. I'm in Utah. Um, they do have some pretty amazing mountains surrounding, though. 
So he had that going for him. So I just walked down the middle of these two rows and counted one of the sides and I counted 93 and this is actually one of the shorter ones. The other one over there is a little longer. So that times four, let's just say there's almost 400 of these ovens. Got Busco climbing the ovens. Hi bud. Come on. Come on. And then we headed to the mountains to play in the amazing snow. I also worked on a couple small van projects while at the Airbnb and I love how the sun visor turned out. Hi dude. First day in Moab. Feels good. As soon as we got to Moab, I knew I would love it here. These red rocks are incredible. The river is awesome. There are so many creeks and streams to play in. And it has been so good for my soul to be somewhere so beautiful that I want to be. And definitely the warmer weather helps. Still here, just cuddling. This boy melts my heart. Look at this! Oh my goodness, it's just like the best. 
My plan in coming to Moab has been to wait out the winter until it's warm enough to go to Colorado. We've been here for a month and one day, and it has been so nice having a home base somewhere that I'm loving, the dogs are loving, we're having so much fun, doing rad new things that we'll hear about a little bit later in this video, and meeting some really cool people. Made it to Arches. Here we are. It's beautiful. Cutie, you're so sweet. Look at you, so sweet.
And then, as I usually do, I needed some time off-grid, so I went and found a rad camp spot pretty far up the river, and it didn't have cell service, which was perfect, and I just hung out with the dogs in this beautiful place. Hey, bud. This is a cool spot. Yeah. This way, bud. Up. Good boy. Hey, Bruce, go. Hey, Bruce. Hey, Bruce. We're coming back, buddy. We're coming. <laughs> Hi, cutie. <laughs> A couple days later, we set off to an even more remote camp spot with incredible views and down more dirt roads, which are my favorite. Hey Rooms, what's up? Hey Bushka. And then finally, we headed back towards civilization. Look at these views, guys. A nook wall, so love this. <laughs> That's actually why I'm taking the video, so I can send it to a nook. <laughs> Dogs and plants are, you know, my like crazy things.
snow last night? It's chilly, huh? What do you think of the snow, Busco? Is it so nice? So for those of you who either catch up with me often or are following along on Instagram, you probably already know that Ruger recently got a knee brace. He has a partially torn CCL, which is like the human's ACL. He's 10. He's not a good candidate for surgery for multiple reasons. And it's also very expensive and aggressive. So I found out that there's a company called Animal OrthoCare that makes dog knee brace, custom dog knee braces. So we're trying it out. We got it in the mail, I think six days ago. And hopefully in about six to eight months with the proper use and care, uh, he could be fully recovered. It has been challenging, especially with our lifestyle and how active I love to be and then how the dogs love to be, that we haven't been able to go on as many hikes and long adventures because Ruger just can't make it that far. And yes, part of it is because he's slowing down and he's 10, but he has so much life left in him. And those of you who know him know this to be true. And just recognizing his behavior, I can see that a lot of his slowing down is because his knee really hurts him. He probably does have arthritis and he is on some really good joint supplements, but those only go so far. So I'll show you that in just a second. Um, but follow along on my Instagram if you want to hear a little bit more about his recovery. And I'm sure I'll be putting it in future videos too, so you can follow along. All right, snap time, but he's rocking, rocking the brace. Here it is, looks super fancy, and uh, yeah, we'll see how he does. Okay, so those new things I've been doing, well, since I got to Moab, I've been learning how to canyoneer. I even bought a harness and everything, finally. You get to hike through beautiful places and then rappel off cliffs and ledges. Nice. And it's been so awesome for me because for one, it's super adventurous. And also throughout my life, there have been so many hikes I've been on that I've so wanted to climb down these cliffs and cracks and canyons to see cool stuff that you can't get to on foot without repelling gear. And then I got to do this. It's called the king swing. You climb up, rappel down, and then you swing. This is fucking incredible! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> We're just gonna keep hanging out here in Moab and probably head to Colorado in a few weeks. So we'll see you next time. Peace out. <laughs>